Hello everyone. Uh, I wanted to show off uh, a unit that I just got. Uh, this is the Behringer Ultragraph Pro. The model is FBQ3102 HD. And uh, I, I'm just adding a 31 band EQ to my very basic PA here. Um, I got a Behringer mixer and uh, this Behringer compressor I've had for a while. But uh, I'm just learning about ringing out uh, PA systems. So uh, I was excited to do that. I had a, a limited like seven band EQ on board earlier. And so I was only be able, you know, I can only notch out uh, wide bands of frequencies, which uh, didn't really help me ring out my system as much as I needed to. Um, the very cool thing that I'd like to show off mostly though is um, all of these faders, you can set them uh, so that they're going to show the feedback, um, the offending frequency. Um, I'm turning on all the LEDs now. This is just if you want to see all the LEDs uh, when it's dark or whatnot. But um, hitting the FBQ button, um, it makes them all off because none of them are being energized at this moment. Um, so this is uh, going to show us here as soon as I turn up the volume on some of these mics um, I'm gonna get some feedback and it's gonna it's gonna show exactly where my problem is and I can just uh, eliminate it immediately so um, I've got a, a mic on a guitar cab to my left and I've got a uh, mic on a vocal stand to my right um, my left and right faders my left is my monitor I have one monitor my right is my main it's facing away from uh, from me right now um, and then this is just in a basement. There's all kinds of junk hanging. There's no sound treatment whatsoever. So it's kind of a, almost a worst case scenario. You're in a tight, small basement with a concrete floor and, uh, you're going to get some, some feedback. So let's go ahead and ring this out. Um, I've got a zero DB on the left and right, and then I'm going to bring up a vocal to zero DB. I already getting some feedback. Um, don't mind all the crazy sounds we're going to produce here, but let's look for this light. There it is, right here. All right, sounds horrible, but guess what? Uh, 3.15K. I'm going to bring you down 3 dB on each one. Uh, again, I got my monitors on the left and my main on the right. Um, I don't know if it's the right practice, but I'm doing it now. I just want to eliminate both of them. So now... Uh, I'm talking, I'm still hearing some lower humming that's going to come through. So I kind of uh, took care of the high uh, feedback now. I'm going to keep increasing this fader. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and bring in my, uh, that actually was my vocal. Let's bring in my guitar cab because it's probably going to grab other frequencies. Bring it up to zero. All right. Check. Check one, two. I hear a low one coming in. Look at that. Check. There it is. I mean, it's clear as day. It's 400. So let's just take 400 down by 3 dB. That's just the next line down. And let's keep bringing up some volumes. Check. Check one, two. There's a low one. Check. All right. All right. These ones. And, you know, it was a little brighter on the, the uh, top band here because this is my monitor. So um, I'm going to attack those by maybe 4 dB. And maybe I'll just hit these ones by like 2 dB because they weren't as bright. So again, the, even the intensity is kind of giving me some great feedback. Um, <laughs> no pun intended right there. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up my vocal uh, fader again. Again, I'm pushing these past zero dB. They're up in the positives. Check. Check. All right, so I got some problems up in here. Let's bring these down. 3 dB. Let's do it again. Check. Check. Okay, we got some problems here. Let's bring those down a little bit more. Now I know there's a limit to you can't cut too much out or you're gonna get some unnatural sounds. And I know you're kind of supposed to smooth these out. Um, but uh, this is just for showing the fact that I can just get much more uh, of a clear presentation. Check, check one, two. Check. Oh, that one jumped over there. Check, check, check. Okay, that's way up here. And I know that can hurt your ears a lot listening to that. I'm gonna bring these down a little bit. Uh, I already trialed this about 10 minutes ago, and I got it nice and fine-tuned. And uh, I'll show you the A, B, before and after, just to show you how much of a difference that makes. Um, all right, let's bring the guitar fader up again. Check, one, two, check, check, one, two, check. All right, that's a 
315. We haven't touched that one yet. Probably okay to do that. Check, check, check. 1.25, you're coming down. Check, 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 check. All right, I've got my guitar maxed out on the uh, fader up top here. I just have a low rumble. Not even enough that I bet when I'm at, when I stick to zero dB, I'm not even gonna ever hear that. Okay, uh, zero and zero on my vocal and my guitar. I'm gonna bring up left and right uh, mains. Let's just see what else we can ring out. Check, one, two. Okay, here we go. And that's okay. Let's do it again. Check, one, two, check. All right, let's bring these guys down a little bit. Again, I'm uh, now I'm over 6 dB. That might be more noticeable um, to the audience. I, I'm not quite sure. Check one, two. All right, this one was going. Check one, two. All right, these guys are pretty hot. Again, so I'm cutting up into the uh, higher above the syllabus kind of portion. So be it. Check one, two. All right, that was this one again. All right, so again, I'm ringing out way above zero dB uh, on my mixer, right? I'm, uh, I'm probably in plus five, plus 10 region, where I'm not gonna be doing that during a show or even my practice here. So I think I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm putting all these back to zero. Everything zero that I'm using up on my mixer. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, talk right into my vocal mic over here. Check one, two, check one, two. I'm not hearing any overtones or weird stuff going on. Check one, two. All right, that's cool. So um, that's great. Now let's let's A, B this thing uh, and make the uh, EQ, well, let's take the EQ settings out of the mix and go back to where we were at the very beginning because uh, this thing was humming pretty bad. I bet you as soon as I, I turn this off, I'm gonna take the EQ out of the chain. Check one, two. Look at that, you can hear it. Check one, two. I'm gonna take the other one out. Check one, two. Oh, I'm gonna have all kinds of feedback. I'm just, I'm not even talking into the mic directly. Here we go. Check, whoa, check one, two. It's all there. All that crap was, is, is still there lurking. So let's go ahead and engage our EQ again on both channels and let's talk into the mic. Check one, two, check one, two. N no problems, no problems going on. Check, check one, two. So uh, that's just really awesome. Uh, I've chased feedback on so many gigs and I had no intelligence on what to do. I just kind of grabbed a mic and tried to point it away from the monitors as best as I could. Um, this is kind of just getting me so much more, uh, you know, this is getting me quickly to where I need to be with some confidence that when I'm on stage, I'm not going to have some crazy feedback popping up here and there. So uh, just to make this thing look pretty, I'm going to turn off the FBQ, which is the feedback um, you know, it's like the RTA real time analyzer. Uh, this is just now I could, I could leave this here after I'm set up. I'm not going to touch it, but it looks kind of cool. Um, if you play music, like, uh, just some MP3 threes through your system and you have the FBQ on, it looks kind of pretty and they like dance and this and that. Um, but anyway, um, it's pretty simple and straightforward, super awesome concept. Uh, I don't see anybody else on the web kind of showing off just the straightforwardness of, of this. So I wanted to get this out there in case anybody else wanted to take advantage of it. So uh, there you have it, FBQ 3102 HD. Um, I got this thing for a hundred bucks. It was a refurbished and uh, it's a, just a great addition to my PA. I think I'm gonna really like having it. So enjoy.